Here's my next project. I uh, don't have any screens on my windows. And uh, for about two months out of the year, I like to leave my windows open. But uh, too many bugs get in the house and pollen. And uh, I just don't like leaving my windows open with no screens. It's a long story why I don't have screens. Uh, I won't even get into it. Anyway, I bought some aluminum uh, metal track to make some screens with. And uh, I made one. I spent a lot of money on this aluminum. And then these plastic corners are really expensive. And uh, here they are. Still about enough to do two. And I made one. And uh, man, it come out looked like crap. It was flimsy. And uh, kids, do not try this at home. Uh, I should have a, hold hand, a hand holding the wood, but uh, I wanted to show you this really cool laser guy. I don't know. I don't. I could. Well, I got one cut out, and. Uh, 60 inches, 59 and 3 quarters from end to end. And uh, this is just too long to not put a piece across the center. It's going to flex if I don't. So what I'm going to do is cut a 3 8 inch deep pocket here and on the end here on, on both sides. So uh, this will set flush and then I'll glue it and tack it I got I got a little Brad nail gun. Uh, I'll let it dry, and man, I think this will last a lifetime. Uh, when I do things, I like to do them right because I hate doing them twice. I learned the hard way. If you're going to spend the money on something, uh, do it right because uh, you can sure waste a lot of money. Throw throw a lot of money away uh, redoing things because you didn't do them right the first time. So I'm going to cut these pockets, and then I'm going to put this back together, uh, and that's. The only other thing I'll show you is uh, these with the screen on, how I'm going to put the screen on, and then uh, I'll show you the, the uh, screen mounted on my window, And because uh, uh, I've already gone like five or six minutes into this video, and uh, I know how short your attention span is. It's just like mine. If it's not interesting in the first two or three minutes, I'm gone. Anyway, see you. This is what it's going to look like. It's uh, taken me, this is my very first one, and it's taken me oh, about 30 minutes to cut this and uh, get it right, get it square, and get these pockets on either end uh, cut out. So uh, I'm going to glue this up, nail it, glue it, and uh, set it to the side, and then I'm going to cut enough to do seven more. And uh, by the time I get seven cut, this ought to be uh, dry. The glue wise are dry enough that I can flip it over and tack the screen to it and uh, oh these are my uh, corner brackets this is what's going to hold it hold it together while it dries you you put the corner in here and then you tighten these and it and it holds it tight and it keeps them from flexing while it dries and I got four of them because there's four corners but you knew that anyway I'm going to do that right now I'm going to glue it up nail it and uh, put it together and set it to the side and Oh, 
couple hours uh, I ought to have everything cut and I'll tack the screen on the back of this and uh, take it outside and hold it up against the window and have a look at it. See ya. Uh, I got this assembled. Got my clamps on, four corners. Got it tacked, glued. And uh, this is how you tell if it's perfectly square. You measure from corner to opposite corner on both both corners, both both directions. And what we got is 68 and 15 sixteenths. I'm going to try to do this with one hand. I got to move the tape measure and uh, put it on the opposite corner. Don't know if I can do it with one hand. Yep, I held my tongue just right. And uh, 68 and what? What? 15 sixteenths. I can't believe it came out 100% uh, square. I'll probably be the only one that com comes out square. <laughs> but uh, you can't get any more perfect than that. That's, uh, that's as square as you can get. Yeah, kind of surprised me because, uh, you know, I'm not a master carpenter. I'm just a kind of a... I'm a Louisiana brat of all trades. Nudge, nudge. Oh, yeah, by the way, just wanted to show my friend in Tennessee uh, all my tools. DeWalt. Oh, yeah. Got a ton of batteries, too, for my DeWalt tools. Okay, I'll stop it. I'll, I'll quit rubbing it in. This is for my tomato farming friend up in Tennessee. All eight of them cut out. I got just this one made up. Uh, don't have the screen on it because I remembered I got to prime and uh, paint this before I tack the screen on the back. Otherwise, it's really hard to uh, paint it with the screen on. So uh, that's one. I got all eight of them built. And this is my sunroom here. And uh, I'll put them together tomorrow and I'll go get, I don't have any paint, I'll get some paint tomorrow and who knows, I may get enough done where uh, I'll be able to tack the screen on and put a couple up tomorrow. But anyway, you get the idea. As, uh, I went through a lot more wood than I thought I was going to. I had to rip them uh, one by fours down the middle and uh, I'm just barely, I just barely had enough to do these, so I way underestimated what the wood I was going to need. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I got eleven more windows to, to make. Oh well. I got a week off. I can do it. See ya. Well, uh, here I am putting the screen on those frames I made, the window screen. I'm using this really awesome PowerShot Power Pro, PowerShot Pro. There we go. I can read. Really, I can. Uh, I've had it a couple of years. I've never used it, and it's working out great. And the screen, man, you could uh, bounce on that. It's the, it's coming out that tight. I got to do both sides here. I got to trim the. This is a 25 foot roll. I got to trim this off. Staple that side, and then pull this side really tight and staple it. I need three hands, but uh, I can't get my lovely assistant to come out here and help me because she's really busy doing some important sewing in her sewing room. And uh, here are all the frames made and painted, primed, and uh, I got one up out there. I probably should have started with that video, and but. I'm going to screen all these and uh, put them up and I'll take a short video of the screens up and uh, then I'll stop boring you with my with my windows. I'll move on to my next project. See what it looks like with screen stretched out on it. That's how it's held on. All right, I want to go put it up and uh, come back and do six more. All right, there's my screen windows. 
took a whole lot longer than I thought it was going to take. It was a little more involved. Uh, I had to be a little more precise than I thought I was going to have to. I, uh, oh yeah, I got two more around this side. I had some rotted wood here. This is another reason why it took me so long. I had to replace that and I got, I, I need to get one more 2x4 from the Howard Lumber up in Mandan. I guess uh, this flower garden being right here, the wood behind it got a little rotted on both ends. So anyway, yeah, that's gonna make a huge difference. You see the sun on it right now? Well, uh, it, you can't even feel it. The windows are uh, just as cold as the, the walls are. So it's already made a difference in just a few minutes. Alrighty, that's the end of that project. My next project, the end of my driveway, uh, I'm gonna make a really nice double iron gate. Uh, found the metal, let me get over here in the shade. Boy, it's hot. I'm gonna sink a couple of six by sixes uh, I'm going to get them 16 foot long and put them in the ground uh, not quite three foot because I got to be able to get my truck underneath it. I'm going to put a six by six across the top of both of them and uh, that'll keep the poles from sagging from the weight of the iron gates. And that way uh, I can lock them up real good when I'm gone. And uh, beside it, I'll put a little walkthrough gate where if somebody has to come read the meter or something like that, they can get in through the walkthrough gate, but they can't drive off with my lawnmowers. Okay, I'll see you at my next project.